Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, in the last episode, every single person on the planet got diarrhea. Uh, let's see here. We tried to fix our water piping because the toilet wasn't working. You know what? I think I might actually just create an area with a couple outhouses in it for backup. And if they decide to use the outhouses, then so be it. These guys are gonna go ahead and eat all that shit down there. Which is fine. I don't even know what was in there. I don't even know what was down there. Sand? Ah, uh, damn. They're eating my sand. A couple of little bit of sand. Uh, they're gonna poop out some coal. If they can get down to this area and uh, stay there. Stay there right now. Please. Go down there and stay. I can go ahead and uh, trap them in. One last time. Go down. Stay! No! I said stay, you dipshits. They did! They went down to stay! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, move. Block them in. Prioritize that shit. Yeah! Fantastic! So, what we're gonna end up doing here is, uh... We want all of the fertilizer to go in there, and I suppose if we have some sort of clay? Do we have clay? Where's clay? Where would clay be? What else are we not going to be using right now? Industrial ingredient. What the fuck is that? I have no idea. It doesn't tell me. Where would clay be? Dirt? And uh, none of that stuff. No. Nope. Let's put our gold in there. Nah, no thanks. Fertilizer seems to be the uh, best option so far. So they're going to eat the fertilizer. And they're gonna poop out coal. This is gonna be our coal generation. I feel pretty good about that. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so we're done with that. We're done. We're done with worrying with those little shitheads. Also, what is that? Polluted dirt. Apparently, if a seed goes bad, it starts producing polluted dirt. That's, uh, that's news to me because this, like, meal lice here, 15, stale, 16%. If we can go ahead and actually get that meal lice out of there, we could, uh, save this breathable oxygen. Otherwise, over time, it looks like that's actually gonna turn into, uh, just a polluted nasty fest over there so maybe we should try to and get up there and get that polluted dirt out of there also like i said create some uh, sort of spot where we can go ahead and put some outhouses and also the what is it called the the, com the compost start making the polluted dirt into fertilizer which then we can feed to these guys and make some coal i think that is actually a good way to go about doing this so let's uh, let's actually try to start planning that out. So if I can start, go ahead and start digging this up. Uh, first, maybe before we do that though, before we do that, maybe we should sort of block this area off over here and put in a... Thinking like this, and I'm thinking like this. Like I said, a manual lock. You can go like that and kind of uh, separate this area so that it doesn't actually creep back up and bite me in the arse. Bite me right in the Ursul. Uh, in the Ursula? In the what? Who do you, who, who's the whaties? What do we have for duplicates? Grease monkey, iron gut. Um, I mean, everyone's getting sick, so maybe iron gut is a good thing. Mouth breather is definitely not, though. Not. No, not very impressive. Reject. I'm not too crazy about those. We don't need any more duplicates, that's the thing. If, if there's a perfect match, if there's just a sexy duplicate, maybe I'll go for it. But other than that, it's going to be a no for me. We got the piping in. Okay, so the piping is ready. Faster, look out, man. He's over top. Of the Anybody that's over top of the water supply with diarrhea makes me nervous. Research complete. Which one did we just get now? Uh, combustion engines. Okay, so that's pretty good. We should probably go right for the the uh, the filters. The filters are good. Air scrubbers. We're also going to need to get all this temperature modulation, pressure management. These are all really, really good thing. Gas valves and water valves. I like those things. Um, pretty necessary when we get into our uh, storage containers and like moving gases and water around. And when we're, we're working with hydrogen, it's, we're gonna need those filters, man. Definitely, we're gonna need filters and the valves. So let's get on that right now, actually. Let's just go for it. And while we're at it, let's see here, that was all power that we just got. Oh, you know what? Heavy watt wire. Carries more wattage than normal electric wires. Are we gonna need that? Do we need that now? Can we just go ahead and like upgrade something to heavy watt? Does it work like that? Did it, did it did work? Okay, so I can put it right over top. What's up, dude? Cat needs some loving. Come here, bud. 
This is an unedited video, okay? I just want, I want to let you know ahead of time so that you know to make this quick. Because people are going to have to sit here and just watch you rub in my face. And I don't know if they... I mean, some people do. Some people love that, but... He, I'm talking and he knows that I'm busy. He's licking my beard now. He's a lot less lovey when I'm talking. He knows I'm streaming. He's like, you're not giving me full attention because I don't give a shit about your talking. You good, bud? Is that enough love for you? Yeah, that's enough love for him. Like I said, he doesn't like snuggling when I'm talking. It's annoying to him, I think. God, your voice is so cringeworthy. Blah. All right, so I don't know what, well, you know, is it going to tell me if I need high wattage? Maximum wattage 1000, circuit status 120. Okay, so we're well within the bounds here. We're well within the bounds. I'm not too concerned about it then. So this is taking 120. Um, this, what else is taking? 120, this is 60, 120, 240. We're not exceeding the values just yet, but of course this pump hasn't really worked in like 17 years. So I was saying that we're gonna make a liquid valve over here. And then I'm gonna turn it off like really quickly. How are we doing? How's everyone's vitals? Vitals are really good. Dale is the most stressed right now. Is there a reason for that? Not really. He doesn't really have a good reason. So is it going down then? This looks like it's staying steady. Um, we have a lot of edibles, so that's not a problem. Good things are good. Let's go ahead and uh, prioritize that. And as soon as that starts pumping, slow it down a little bit here. As soon as that, that's done building, it starts pumping and we get some of that uh, fresh water out of there. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get all of that out of there. Clear the pipes. The shower's not being used. It's not pumping anymore. Nobody's taking a shower because that's full. Jeez. Can you like split half and half between the two of these? Or are you just going to take it out of the one, the one pump? You know what? Let's go ahead and turn that off now. Before all of it gets, uh... I can't turn, I can't turn a, a vent off anymore? You used to be able to just disconnect. Or, uh, not disconnect, but, uh, disable the building. Now I actually have to remove it? What is this nonsense? I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal if we keep it, like, circulating like this. It's still, like, the water's not gonna go anywhere, but at the same time... I'm gonna have to do 240s worth of, of wattage in order to, to get that thing pumping again. The whole idea of having this all uh, self-sufficient was to not have to worry about that. Kind of bums me out. Kind of bums me out a little bit. You know what I think that we should do then, if that's gonna be the case? We should go ahead and just hook this pipe up uh, over here and let the shower also go through this big rigmarole. But, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Just not worry about it for now. It's good. It's working. It's good. Start worrying about everything else like our food. Let's make a ration box down here in the cold. I'd like to do that. And you know what? You don't need to actually dig that out. If I can get the right button. Cancel. There we go. Unrefrigerated food is the only thing they're complaining about. I think if I put the box down here, it will be refrigerated. Now Dale has diarrhea again. Fucking Dale. Fucking Dale, man. It's killing me. The outhouses, they're not even close to thinking about getting over there. It's probably because we're researching. Okay, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. Deconstruct that box. Tear it down, baby, and put all the food over here instead. Boom, city. Now sweep that up. Like a nine sweep. Like a very important sweep. We need to get that food out of there and refrigerate it as soon as we can. Otherwise, it's going to turn into this fucking uh, polluted dirt that we don't want. It's going to infest everything. Speaking of the polluted dirt, we should probably try to go up there and get it. We should probably make an attempt to go get that stuff. Of course, we don't really need to get it until we have an, a, 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 a compost spot over here with an outhouse. We're digging into this vacuum, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but oh well. Things are going. Things are going. Things are working. I'm not sure why somebody just dumped that mush bar on the bottom, but uh, technically it is refrigerated, so... 
Refrigerated. It does say refrigerated on it. If it freezes, is that a bad thing? I don't know. Look at that! Oh my god! First time I think in my life I've ever had no warnings. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is the water flowing? Yes, it is. Assuming that the toilet doesn't back it up, the shower should just be able to pump around like that, right? It's just a one-for-one -one water thing. So the shower should be working from here on out. But I don't necessarily want the showers to be working from here on out, uh, you know, you know, in a way. Because, uh, they just, it just takes up so much time. I wonder if they get, uh, sick less, though, because of it. I mean, they should, right? That should be the point, but diarrhea is from the mush bars. And that's the only thing plaguing us at this point. I wanted to go, uh, explore around, but how is that gonna be possible when we're so busy and I came and put a ladder in? They haven't even started on this area. Come on, you guys. What are we researching again? Pressure management? Yeah, these are all very important things. It's not, you know, imperative right now to our survival to get uh, that set up. But, our, you know, our algae is, is 5,000 now. It's dropped by about 1,000 since the last episode. We're, we're getting kind of low. Hey, look, there's a morb. Morbs are cool. He's, uh, I think he's eating up this chlorine and he's spitting up polluted oxygen, which is totally fine. I don't want him to eat up the hydrogen, though. So maybe, you know what? Maybe if we could go ahead and just dig all this out and get all the chlorine to just dump all the way to the bottom, start feeding that morb, he could go ahead and just clear out all that uh, chlorine after a while. Because we're not generating chlorine. That was the stupidest thing, I think, about, uh, where was it? There's a hand sanitizer. It's like, well, that sounds fantastic, right? Because they're always, always, always complaining about grimy hands. Right? Well, every single person that I talk to now is not. There we go. Dirty hands! There it is. Thank you, Basser, for having filthy hands, you and your diarrhea. Should probably clean that up you wipe. But, the thing is, the thing outputs chlorine gas. It's like, oh yeah, I'd love to have a, a, a hand cleaner in my base, but not if it fucking pumps out chlorine gas and kills everybody. What's the point? What's the point of that? Let's make another ration box. I think we're gonna need to make another one here. The one that's looking pretty full. Research complete. Okay. Before we research stuff, let's try to get the rest of the tasks done. Get that algae. My biggest worry. It's absolutely no oxygen down here. That's kind of a problem. It's still gonna take them forever to get through this uh, abyssalite. Yeah, see, they're, they have to go up every 10 seconds in order to get some more air. What is everybody else doing? What is everybody else doing? What's all this water here on the ground? Is someone, is someone dropping that? Is there a reason? Should we even look at our dupes? Mm, diver's lungs, yes. Anemic, minus five athletics, pretty bad. Decor expectation, minus 15, and destructive. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. All right, algae terrarium, look at that. I totally forgot about that. How's our oxygen doing? Uh, the carbon dioxide, you know, it's not up to here anymore, which is a good thing, because this uh, terrarium is going ahead and eating up all that uh, CO2. Good thing. Oh, you know what? Uh, at nighttime, let's go ahead and see what happens if I go ahead and dump the fertilizer out. Is he gonna eat that? Yeah, see, now he's eating it. I think they changed that. Look like that, dump it out. And just leave it there. I don't think they're gonna have to do anything else with it. I don't think there's a spot. I don't think there's a single container elsewhere that takes fertilizer. So even if they tried to sweep it, they wouldn't have anywhere to put it. So yeah, see, they're going nuts on it. That's good. How much is over here, though? How much fertilizer? Was there any fertilizer in that one? I don't think there was any fertilizer in that one. Maybe we should put some fertilizer in it then. I don't know, because there's three of them over here. Maybe they should put all the fertilizer there first. They'll just, they'll go ahead and scoop it up here and put it into this one. Maybe, if they can reach it, I'm not sure if they can. I can uh, put the ladder down further if I need to though. Okay, so he's grabbing the coal, I'm not sure why. This tank has nothing better to do. You know, I've got all the stuff that says, oh, 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 unreachable, that's why they didn't do it. I didn't put a ladder over here. There. Durr! No wonder they're not doing the tasks I'm telling them to do. CO2 has made it all the way up into this area. That's not so good. 
There's like no CO2 now over here, but it's all over here. It's like just kind of stuck to this wall. Let's see here. Does it tell me unreachable? For that sweep task? Fertilizer, organic, storage not assigned. Fertilizer does not say anything about being unreachable. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that they just can't get to it. You know what? Uh, I was going to prioritize this. Let's see if they get to it now. It's pretty important. Yeah, see, they can reach it. They're fine. They're just being a big baby about it. 630 kilograms. Okay, let's go ahead and say that we don't need to sweep that anymore. Let's say no on the fertilizer. Like that. Now there's a bunch of fertilizer over here. 1,200 and 2,500. There's more over here still, but that's fine. Let's leave it. Leave it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Okay, so they can't reach this tile up here. That's gonna bug the shit out of me if they can't get up there. And we're actually ready to harvest our food as well. We've got too much food at this point in time. I think it does eventually just fall off, but whatever. It takes a long time to harvest, man. Can I prioritize the toilets? No. I was going to say, if I could make it so that they guaranteed go to the toilet, if the toilet's full, then they go to the outhouse and make some polluted dirt. With the polluted dirt, make fertilizer. With that fertilizer, make coal. I think, honestly, they might just end up going to the outhouse anyways, because it's like, might be closer if you drew a straight line. Don't know how they optimize that. But we're getting more algae. That was one of our biggest concerns. Oxygen, because it's, you know, it's just not included with the game inherently. I mean, it is included. It is included in the game. There's a lot of oxygen already there, right? So, I don't know. Is that misinformation? I don't know. Is our base entirely sealed off right now? Are there any holes? No, that's that's something that you got to really check on. We can go ahead and upgrade this to uh, a better mechanized airlock which would actually use power and shut quicker. Doesn't look like I can just go ahead and select it and upgrade it. Door is automated, open, lock, auto. That's good. Uh, should we deconstruct it and make another one? Why not? Might as well make the mechanized. The mechanized one, uh, this is functions as a manual airlock when no power is available, so. And it only uses power when it's opening and shutting, so it's, it's really minimal. But it shuts faster is the big deal here. Let's go like that. Prioritize, please. Oops. Nine. Very important. Power. Electrical wire. Just pop it on over. There we go. Actually, we need to prioritize that electrical wire as well, then. Is our oxygen escaping? A little bit. Here we go. Okay, so now with this, we can go ahead and put an outhouse in there. Maybe we should put the outhouse up here. Maybe even up here. Where should we put the outhouse? I think that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the compost down here. That seems good to me. They just need to make sure that they put the... Yeah, it is, it's a nine. Okay, so any kind of... Polluted dirt that hits the ground, they're gonna they're gonna stuff it back on, under here. This contaminated oxygen is gonna be flowing into this area though, so maybe we should have made a mechanized airlock there as well. I guess so far I'm just not gonna worry about it. And I'm gonna actually prioritize this thing pretty uh pretty high to make sure that they go ahead and keep making their fertilizer. Are these guys eating? They better be. Fertilizer on the ground. Yeah, they're doing it. They're doing it. Okay. Things are working out. Things are working out. Who's not sleeping? Whatever was not sleeping. Why? Okay. Are we done with all of our tasks? Yes, we are. We can go ahead and start getting the rest of this algae. Please. If they do it in such a way that they dig down and they can't get the ones up here, I'm going to be very mad at them. I'm going to be very upset. Also, I hope that this doesn't crack open because of the different pressures. There's very, 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 very high pressure over here. 
that might be a problem. So maybe we even want to like tile that up to make sure that doesn't happen. Prioritize that with a nine. And then I also want to sweep seven, say, the rest of this stuff, all that stuff down there. They're, they're, they're uh, having a hard time with the oxygen levels down there, though. Understandable. Is there any reason that I should be, like, pumping oxygen down there? I don't know. These are already almost full, the ration boxes, because of our planter boxes. We should maybe start making uh, a bunch of lice loaf. We, we totally could since we have all the, uh, what's it called? Meal lice that we got. Look at that! 23k cows of meal lice from the, uh, the planter boxes. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good, honestly. Time flies like nobody's business on this. I'm thinking about making the episodes longer because I'm cranking through this. Like, I just want to keep playing it, man. I'm, I'm addicted, but I'm not sure that's necessarily a good idea. All right, eventually, eventually we're st we'll start exploring this way. We'll do it, I swear, at some point, maybe, possibly. I don't know, should we? Let's go ahead and try, maybe like dig out some more of this area so that there's more room for this contaminated oxygen to kind of build up, right? Because if it builds up with such high pressure of contaminated oxygen, whenever this door is open, it's all just gonna go like pow, right into the base, right in the kisser. Should sweep that one down there as well. Get down there, man. Get that algae. How's our algae? 7,500 now. Good. Feels pretty good. We could uh, get this algae here, but the second that they try to do that, the, the hatches might pop up and get out. How much coal do we have? 8,400. 8,500, roughly. So let's actually see how much coal... Uh, how much the coal grows when they start eating the fertilizer. I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so... There should be 2,000 kilograms of coal, that right there, and uh, about 1,000 kilograms of coal right there. The spores! Basser! <laughs> he is struggling. He is struggling right now. He's not having a good life. Where is he? There he is. Look at him. He's got the spores from being in the contaminated oxygen. We've learned some things today. Oh, you know what? Um, did someone just get it too? Tank looks like he's not doing so well either. Tank looks like... Interrupted sleep, maybe, is the only thing. Looks like he's got pimples on his face, though. Yikes. Bastard's got the spores. And, uh, he's the one that had the... No, he's not the one. We have one that, uh, gets sick all the time. What was that, Dale? Biohazard. Okay, I was gonna say don't get biohazard, but maybe it doesn't really even matter. Once again, I've seen people, I've seen, uh, Let's Players do this. And I, I don't remember them getting diarrhea and spores every five seconds, and I'm pretty sure they were just living off of, you know, the shittiest food, so. Hmm. Hopefully with the addition of the, the, uh, meal lice bars, they'll do better, they'll fail, fare better. They're building these out of granite, I hate the game. Fill a lot of sandstone, please, we have so much sandstone. Okay, all, but then we don't want fertilizer, polluted dirt, or slime. There we go. I don't want them to run out there quick and like go grab the uh, fertilizer from those guys. That wouldn't be cool. There. There, 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 there. We should make a mechanized airlock there, but I'm afraid to delete that door and have them build the next one because it takes like 17 years. Jeez. Let's see here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to ladder up to this point and then start mining across on a great journey to the beyond. Journey to the beyond and we're going exploring. Oh my god, that's algae right there. Oh my god, there's tons of algae. I didn't even know that algae could be mixed in with the slime. I had no idea that's tons of algae. I'm very excited about that. We should try to try to uh, we should try to pump out this polluted water. We should mix all these polluted waters together. Maybe try to pump all that out and bring it over uh, to another filtration system that we could honestly put in this same little cavity here and then pump that to our water supply. Yeah. Okay. And maybe we can even hook that up to this uh, this vent over here. We just have a, just a constant system of water flowing. Get this. Get rid of all the water over here. 
put it over here because uh, this can hold it, I do believe, and this, we will be able to mine out that algae without touching the polluted water if we get rid of it, right? If we drain it somewhere. I mean, I suppose we could just like dig down and let that water just kind of go and like fall all the way down into this area, but uh, we do want as much water as possible, so filtrating, filtrating it, uh, filtering it out and uh, making it better would be, I think, the way to go. How is our sand doing? We have lots and lots and lots of sand. Are there sand spots? That's sand, that's sand, okay. So, we have enough sand for now. To filter out the things for now. But, uh, we will have to try to find one of those steam generators. Find some way to get infinite water supply, because it will be necessary. That will be our, like, only source of oxygen at the end. So. Slightly worried about it. Yeah, we got lots of pressure of polluted oxygen in here. Shit. Uh, we should dig across and try to get this puffed out uh, an atom as soon as we possibly can. That's what I'm thinking. Because if we can get, we can, if we can get, combine all these cavities and get that puffed just coming through here, eating up all this polluted oxygen, that'd be good for me. Spitting out slime, we could use that later. Especially if the slime gets uh, trapped in the water, it doesn't pump out any more polluted oxygen. So that are that's the, those are the goals. I'm not gonna end it just yet because we're only 26 minutes in, but. Gotta plan ahead, roughly, sometimes, sort of, a little bit. You know, you don't actually need to, to sweep that one down there. What is, what is that even? Polluted ice. Forget about it. All the water that was down here froze into ice, as you can see. What are we doing? Where are we at right now? What's our temperature like in this area? Because this is a hot area. I chose to dig up here. Uh, because of the idea that, uh, we don't want to crack into these polluted water pools. I want to kind of stay above them, if at all possible. This one, honestly, we should probably step it down a notch and try to, uh, get this polluted water into this cavity. That's what I'm thinking. Try to get as much of this algae as possible. Hopefully not too much of it drops down into the polluted water. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. We have a plan. And that's the most important thing. I don't know if these guys can eat coal since they poop coal. I'm just kind of assuming that the coal is going to sit there and not go anywhere. Right? Isn't there coal somewhere? I don't see any coal. I don't see any coal at all. You know what? Maybe, maybe we should be saying that uh, one of these should hold nothing but coal. Where is it? Consumable ore, coal and then prioritize that to the max. So if they do poop in the morning, some will go grab it immediately. Probably the best method there. Grab the poop immediately. Never thought I had to say that to another man. Okay, whoa, they're grabbing all the coal from everything else. Which I guess is fine. I guess that's fine, that'll be our coal storage container, but don't forget about the poop. They might be eating the coal, it's very possible. I don't see any coal! There's no coal down there! They've been eating like crazy, I don't see any fucking coal! The fertilizer's almost gone! They should be pooping! If they eat the coal though, and it's one to one, they should just be shitting out the coal again. Kind of like when Bumbo eats a coin and then spits out a coin. The coin didn't go anywhere. And actually, you guys can go ahead and, uh... Harvest this. Might as well. What's down here? Phosphorite sweep pending. This didn't break through, so that's a good thing. What are we doing right now? They're putting granite into the tiny batteries. Do the, do the batteries require granite? Effects. No, requirements. There's no... What, what were they putting that into? They, maybe they were grabbing it. They were grabbing it so they could go ahead and put it up here, I think. Oh, they, they, you know what? They're on a sweeping task because they have nothing else to do. That's... Uh, that makes sense. So let's actually jump over here, dig up a lot of this algae. Might as well just touch that slime, too. It's not really that big of a deal, honestly. I guess, I guess if you dig it up, it starts spitting out uh, contaminated oxygen. But that'll be okay if we can get this puffed into here. Puffed the magic dragon. Lived by the sea. 
Actually, when the slime hits. When the slime hits. Where's slime? Polluted oxygen, loomy, whatever. No, where's the slime? There. Emitting polluted oxygen. Now, when I click on the slime on the wall, it doesn't say anything about emitting uh, polluted oxygen, does it? Algae is useful. Uh, no, okay. No, 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 no. No! Thimble reed seed. We should uh, definitely grab the thimble reed seeds as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to get into this abyssalite because I kind of want to make a bridge up here so I can go top down and uh, mine into that algae. That's my plan right now, so we can get the most of it. But it's gonna take them a while to get through that abyss light. Somebody else is gonna get some spores, I just know it. And look at how fucking, oh my god. Uh, do we have the ability right now? Refinement. Um, ooh, where is it at? Oxygen. Air deodorizer. We're gonna need one of those right here. We're definitely gonna need one of those right here to, to, to pull out that uh, polluted oxygen that's gonna be coming in. Why did you make it out of obsidian? God, I hate everything. I hate everything and everyone. I feel like if you make it out of a more rare material, uh, it should, like, build faster or something. Or, like, you know, be more efficient. Have some sort of benefit to this. I have to prioritize that to, like, a six. It's pretty important that we get rid of this polluted oxygen that's just funneling in. Oh, does someone piss? What's that? What's this water from? What's the water from? I don't know what that water's from. Did something happen? Where... What? Was there steam? Water. Liquid. A lot of it. Well, no, that's not there. That's not, that's not kilograms. That's just grams. Water is coming in from somewhere, and I don't know why. Very interesting. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and mop it up. It's a waste if I mop it, you know, if I could somehow save it, pump it. If I could squeegee it, right? If they could just, like like I said, mop it up and then wring it out into the, the water thing, that'd be, that'd be good. But I don't think they have the ability to do that. And while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and get over here and get the rest of this shit that's up here. I'm tired of looking at all this crap. I'm tired of looking at all that junk up there. Let's clear it out and make it nice and clean. We should really make a mechanized airlock over here too, though. Yeah, see everyone's just getting spores. This is dangerous up in there. What else are we doing right now? What should we be doing? We should be making more art around the base, perhaps. Maybe a few more of these. I like those. They're sexy. Just make sure our jobs are all uh, allocated correctly. Like nobody's on combat, nobody's on cook except for Dale, and nobody's on art except for whatever. Kind of looks bare over here, but that's correct. That's what we want. Finish this up over here. That puffed. Nobody's on attack, right? Oh man, when you get a new uh, a new character in there, and then they start just killing all of the uh, your friends. Yeah, not good. Not good. Do not like that. They're all, they're eating the meal lice right now, and I, I would rather turn the meal lice into lice loaf. And maybe we should just do that right now. Maybe we should just put, like, unlimited lice loaf. I don't think you get any more food out of it, but you convert it from, uh, I think you get more. I think you get more food out of it at that point. Are these guys still eating? There's tons of fertilizer. Coal. I did see coal right there. It's right there. Yes, consumable. 1,000 kilogram. Now grab it. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. I like that very much. A lot of contaminated oxygen coming in here, though. I like how now it just tells you, when you look at oxygen overlay, that that's just breathable. It's very breathable gas. Yeah, it's it's, it's totally fine, but it used to show up as red because it was contaminated. I, they, they can breathe it in and live just fine, except for the fact that they get the spores, I think. And that's the only drawback. And I would love to harvest this, but I think it's going to fill up my boxes. I think we just need to honestly cool it on the, uh, the meal woods for a while. The deodorizer just, oh my god, hammered through that. Well done. Is there any, uh, is there any negative effects by having the deodorizer just going ahead and sitting there even if there's no more polluted oxygen? Is it, is it sucking in regular oxygen? Is it, uh, is it wasting a lot of sand by not, uh, you know, does it only use the sand when it grabs the polluted oxygen? Things I don't know. Things that could be honestly very important, but... 
Okay, so I just pumped out a, a Lice Loaf. Looks like I got 500k cal out of it, so... Looks like we're getting about a 1 to 1.5 ratio of it, maybe? How are we doing? How are we doing? Everyone seems to be fine. We're not researching anything. We, we completed that, but we do need to keep moving on. We do need to get the rest of the stuff, and, and now I think is a good time. Get all the research out of the way, and then we can start focusing on everybody branching out when we need to. But, you know, it's kind of six to one, half dozen to the other at this point in time. As long as we're okay, um, our organics, how are we doing on algae? 8,000 now. Yeah, it's good. How is the piping? The piping is uh, once again clogged up, not pumping in the shower, but the, the toilet's still working. Totally fine by me at this point in time, because like I said, the shower just kind of takes up people's time. But uh, it is kind of weird, though, because we're getting more uh, liquid out of the situation. Because usually when you hook up the showers and the toilets to your water supply, it just pumps it away and just eats away at your water. Right now, we're actually, with the shower, we're adding to the water. We're actually putting more into this water supply than we are taking out at this point in time. And that, to me, is odd. It's very odd. But it's, it's happening. I like it. I like the idea that if we just clear out all that water, the only time that someone can take a shower is if someone pisses enough. You're literally showering and your friends piss. You know, do what you gotta do, I guess. Our, our decor right now is just disgusting by all of these storage compactors, but people don't spend that much time over there, so. Maybe we should up the decor over here because whoever's making food is going to be like stressed as shit. Speaking of stress... Whoa! Look at the stress levels! Oh, everyone's happy. That's fantastic. That's a good note to end on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you are enjoying this series. I think we're doing well so far. I think everything is going swimmingly. So, hope you, uh, hope you think as so as well, honestly. If I'm doing something terribly wrong, let me know in the comments section. But other than that... I think this is awesome. So with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.